Now, the government has begun surveying parcels of land around the Mao Forest to put into perspective the clear boundaries that have been the source of uh, clashes in Maria Shoni and Nasuid areas of Nakuru. The exercise is meant to help bring an end to perennial clashes between two communities living along the eastern parts of the Mao Forest. Marianne Nyambura has the details. In 1994, the government allocated huge tracts of land to settlers in the eastern Mao. A total of 35,000 hectares were channeled to the residents. But ever since, court orders and perennial clashes have been the order of the day. Today, the government says plans to resolve land disputes are in the pipeline. By 1997, when these settlements were stopped, and court the request in the Permanent Secretary Chris Kipto from the Ministry of Environment and his land's counterpart, Dr. Nicholas Muraguri, accompanied by top security officials, announced that the demarcation process has officially begun. We have one month to demarcate the forest, and that will going to start as early as tomorrow. The government's efforts have encountered a degree of opposition in the past as numerous court orders have been issued. Nesuit MCA Samuel Tonui, who recently filed a petition in court, now saying he will withdraw the case. As the government commences the boundary demarcation process today as part of a raft of measures aimed at finding a lasting solution to the perennial clashes witnessed in the war-torn areas of Nesuit and Mariashoni, residents have now vowed to continue maintaining peace in the area, with the land dispute now becoming a thing of the past. <laughs> Government officials say over 3,008 families that had been displaced after clashes broke out two weeks ago have since returned home. Once the demarcation process is complete in a month's time, residents will acquire title deeds with those found to have encroached the forest land urged to quietly leave the area. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, 